ta-da! Isn't that awesome? Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome to Vlogmas day number 11. So today, as promised, I'm going to be doing some DIY Christmas decorations. These are just things that I've been making basically really at work for um, work decorations. We have a competition in our office as I've mentioned. And we just have to decorate our area and I've been doing that, having some fun playing around. I feel like a five year old when I do this kind of stuff because it's all like playing with glue and glitter and popsicle sticks and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing so if you guys want to do this at home or just play around with some crafty stuff for a day you guys can do this too and if you have any DIY Christmas decorations or decor ideas I would love to hear them so definitely let me know in the comments below or direct me to a video that you've watched or a blog or something like that some ideas that you have or things that you have been making in your house so let's jump into the first thing okay so I've just changed angles so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better the first thing is what you're going to do is take some normal baking paper just your normal grease proof non-stick baking paper. So I'm going to take a piece of that and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a book underneath it so maybe there's a little bit more contrast so you guys can see what I'm doing because I'm going to be using some hot glue. So then what you want to do is take a hot glue gun. I just went out to the craft store and bought the cheapest hot glue gun that I could find. This one I think was like the brand Crafter's Choice and then you're also going to need some extra glue sticks. So I have bought again a cheap packet of glue sticks because each snowflake takes about a glue stick and a half. And then all you want to do is simply start drawing your snowflake. So I just start drawing one line and each line is going to be like one wing I guess or one facet of your snowflake. So you just make it the size that you want and then you just draw some little, what is this called, angular lines coming off this snowflake. And I make the ones at the farthest away from the center a little bit bigger and then slowly get smaller as you move into the center. And the good thing about this is that you can just play around with it. It can be a little bit messy. You will get stringy pieces of stuff and that just happens. And you can kind of pull those away later when the snowflake or the glue dries a bit. And then you just want to keep on going. So you just draw another line coming out. And in the end, I think you want to have about six lines. And then draw, you might only do two little prongs off this one and do alternate two, three, two, three, because that's just what will fit. You can either turn yourself or just turn the paper. Keep on drawing. And just, we want to make sure that each of the prongs connect, everything connects, because we are going to peel this off the paper soon. You're left with something like that. Hopefully you guys can see what it looks like there. Then the fun bit, what I like to do is I'm just taking some white glitter. This again I just got from a craft store. It's just a plain white kind of iridescent glitter. And you just want to kind of tip it over the top while the glue is a little bit still wet. And then you just pick up your paper and you kind of just like shuffle it along. And you can do more than one snowflake on the same piece of paper so you reuse some of the glitter that doesn't stick. This is the fun bit. I love adding the glitter. It just makes it so much more snowflakey. So just toss it around. If you can do this somewhere where like you can get messed like a kitchen table, it's a much better idea than doing it on your bed like I'm doing, but you guys don't have to film it obviously. So, And then once it's kind of touched dry, as you can see mine is already dry. You just want to slowly peel it off. So just do one bit at a time so you don't break it. You don't want to rip it in half or anything like that. Slowly peel. I'm peeling from the outside in because I so the little stalks don't break off. And ta-da! Isn't that awesome? I love them. So then you can just have these like sitting on a table. You could put like a little hook in them and have them hanging. You could make it like hang them off your tree if you wanted to. Just get those little um, ornament hooks and just push it through. You can put a little hole in it. You could have them like make string out of them. Like put little piece, string like them together and make a whole line of them. You could really do whatever you want. There's so, so many different options. I think they're so cute and so inexpensive to make. If you just buy cheap sticks of glue, a little bit of baking paper, which you probably already have in your cupboard, and then some cheap glitter. I got mine from Riot Art and Craft and there was like 
five different colors glitter in this packet. It was really inexpensive and you can have so much fun with these cute little snowflakes. So that is my first little DIY. Okay, so my next DIY is the good old paper snowflake. So I made a couple of twists on the original paper snowflake that I did last year. But if you year. guys didn't get to see that video, I will show you guys how to cut a paper snowflake. So first what you want to do is have a square piece of paper. So I take a rectangular piece of paper and just fold it over until you've got an exact point at the top here. And then all you need to do is just take a ruler or some scissors and rip off or cut off this little bottom bit and you will be left with a square. Then leave your paper folded over like this. You just want to fold it over a second time to make another slightly smaller triangle. And then once you've got your triangle like this, you want to fold it into thirds towards the center. So you just have to guesstimate this, but you just fold it up almost so it's about straight or a little bit more that way, so it's a third. And then you just fold this piece over the top and hopefully it will be about even. I've been folding them quite a bit so mine have turned out pretty well. So you can see that you're left with this kind of little shape here. Then what you need to do is just to cut off this top bit here. There's a line here, hopefully you guys can see that. Cut off above this bit, anything above that. So you can cut it in any angle. I'm going to cut it in this angle just because I can. And then once you have this, then basically you can just chop out anything that you want. So you make any shapes. something that looks really cool and totally unique. So you just unfold it and ta-da! You guys have a snowflake. Okay and then to amp these up a bit and just make it a little bit cooler I just take a little bit of Mod Podge. You can get this from craft stores. I got mine from Spotlight here in Australia and I also saw it in Eckersley's and Riot Art and Craft. So I just take a little bit and put it in a plastic plate like this and then you can just get some any glitter of your choice. I've been doing silver at work. You can do, I've got some gold here. You just want to add the glitter to the top of the glue. And then, if I can find it in this mess here, you can take either a brush or a sponge of some sort, mix the glue and the glitter mixture together. And then I paint the snowflake, or I glitter the snowflake, as I've been saying. I glitter everything at Christmas time pretty much. So you just paint the glitter all over the snowflake. And then once you've done that, you can do a few. You can leave some white, you can do some gold glitter, you can do some silver glitter. And then you can like hang them, hang them from the roof, hang them from like your walls, hang them together in like chains, whatever you want. I think one of the easiest ways to decorate your room at Christmas time is just to hang a whole heap of paper snowflakes from the roof. And once you have the glitter on it how you want, you are left with this cute little glittery star or glittery snowflake sorry glittery snowflake that you can hang just put it to dry and there you have a fun little DIY Christmas decoration now this year I do have a new paper snowflake or a different design to show you so again you need to square off the paper And then what you want to do is just fold it in half once more so that you have a slightly smaller triangle like this. Then what you want to do is just take a pen and draw a dot maybe two or three centimeters away from that point of that triangle just there. And then you want to draw a shape kind of like this so it's like a, I wouldn't actually call it a semicircle. You're just starting again a few centimeters away from the edge and bringing it in in a rounded kind of fashion just like that so you want them to be kind of equal but does not does not have to be perfect at all hopefully you guys can see that shape there then what you want to do is just take your scissors and cut that out so what you're left with is a shape like this then all you need to do is come to the side and a few centimeters down from the top you just want to cut in that similar arch pattern, kind of close to where that arch is, and then come to a stop just sort of below that point. You want to mirror the same on the other side. 
bring it to a stop don't cut all the way through just like that and then you want to do the same thing a little bit further down so you are left with something that looks like this and then all you need to do is just open it back out again and what you are left with is something that looks a little bit like a four petal flower of some sort then you just want to flip it over take the two points that are like the middle ones so you have the this is the outside middle inside you want to take the middle ones join them together get a little bit of sticky tape and tape that down so just a tiny piece bringing these two together and tape it the great thing about these they don't have to be perfect as you can see I'm kind of doing this in a rush and it still looks fine then you grab the other two middle bits bring them together again a small piece of tape and tape it down then what you do is flip it over and these little bends that you've got here these little loops just pull them forward slightly so you can see them a bit better and then all you have to do is repeat the exact same process so I have another one here so you have two and then you want to angle them so you then have it looking like this so you have one going that way and one going that way so you can see all the petals take another piece of tape if you have double sided tape that would work or you can just wrap your tape in a loop stick it on the bottom one in the center then you grab your top one here place this in the center and then press down and ta-da! You have another kind of flower slash snowflake. Okay, so the next DIY that I have here is a really pretty snow-inspired candle luminary. So what I do is I am going to take another paper plate like so, and I'm going to take some Epsom salts. And this you can just get from a supermarket or chemist. Sometimes they're where the salt is, and sometimes, more often than not, they're actually where like the medicine and stuff is, because these are used for like salt baths and things like that for uh, uh, sports injuries so I take a little bit of this and I'm just going to stick it in my plate mix that around make sure it's all broken up and then I'm also going to take a little bit of that white glitter that I had before and I'm going to mix that in there too I've seen these online and people just use the Epsom salts but I like the glitter because I feel like it gives a little bit of extra sparkle so just mix that in there all together you could add silver glitter gold glitter whatever you wanted you could skip the glitter and then all you have to do is take a glass this is actually an old candle jar this was the Bath and Body Works four ounce candles that I've just cleaned out I froze the wax chipped it out and then used hot water to remove the labels and the little thing at the bottom cleaned it all off and I have a little glass jar like this then what I'm going to do is take some Mod Podge, again, the awesomeness that is Mod Podge. And then what you can do is you can either tip this out straight onto the brush or you can get your old one and tip out a little bit of Mod Podge. And then you simply just paint or glob the Mod Podge onto the side of your glass jar whether it's an old candle that you're repurposing or whether you buy a new one you can do this on like mason jars so jars that maybe had tomato sauce or something in it and then you clean it out whatever you want and then you can either dip and roll like so or if it doesn't work you can just pat it on with your fingers now I don't like to make it too thick because I still want it to have little patches where you can see the light from the candle come through but you can do as a thicker layer as you want there's always going to be some that will just tap off any excess then once you've gone all the way around just let it dry and then you can just stick inside a tea light candle or a little votive just light the candle and then you have a cute little candle luminary for your bedroom or for anywhere in your house some really cute decor and it looks like snow and Christmas 
Okay, so the last Christmas DIY I have to show you is using good old paddle pop sticks. So really you just need some paddle pop sticks, some glue, and maybe some scissors if you're going to cut the paddle pop sticks in half for your design. I just got these again from a craft store. Or you can go out and eat a whole heap of ice creams if you would like. It's totally up to you what you do. So there are a whole heap of different designs that you can do. You can also make cute little stars like this and I've got some little stars here that I put some little glitter on so I'm going to show you guys how to make a star first because you could hang these from your Christmas tree, you could hang these from your roof, stick them on your wall, do whatever you would like with these ones. So you just take two, put a little bit of glue at the end of one and then place one on top in a kind of V shape. Now I just have this quick dry adhesive, it is just a glue, you could use PVA glue or wood glue. You want something that dries relatively quick but not so quick like super glue that you don't have a chance to move it. I'm just putting some glue at the other end of those two sticks now. Then I'm going to take one stick and cross it over like so, and another stick and cross it over like so, so we've almost got our star. You just want to kind of maneuver it around a little bit so it's in a nice shape. Then take another last paddle pop stick and put a little bit of glue at both ends on the top. And then you want to just slide it underneath these two right here. So put, pick up one, stick it on top, pick up the other and stick it on top. Now as you can see it doesn't work out perfectly which is why you need a glue that will allow you to move it. So you just maneuver it until each of the ends are touching and then you can add glitter or you can add I don't know anything you could paint them spray paint them so there's your cute little paddle pop stick star and then the last thing is obviously a really big snowflake that you can either glitter or spray paint I got this idea from Pinterest there are a whole heap of different types that you can do I'm just gonna pick one that I'm kind of gonna come up with on the spot but what you just need is some glue Once you have all your paddle pop sticks there, you're going to have to leave it somewhere to dry for probably a couple of hours before you move it because depending on what type of glue you use, it will take a little while for it to set. But once it's set, you can pick it up and do whatever you want with it. You could spray paint it red or green, you could add a whole heap of glitter, you could just draw along it with some glitter glue. You could even go far as to paint it with Mod Podge and then cover it in, cover it in the Epsom salts. Like You could really just go nuts with these and then hang them from the roof, stick them up against the wall, stick them up against your windows. Really you can do anything with them. In my office I have them hanging up against a window. I have three different ones which I will show you guys so you guys can see some different designs and be inspired to really create whatever you want with these kind of paddle pop sticks. So 
that is it. That is all the DIYs I have to show you in this video. I could probably show you some more, but this video is already gone forever. And I hope you guys have gotten some good ideas anyway. We had, just to recap, we had the hot glue gun snowflakes here which I is probably my favorite I love them we had the paddle pop sticks stars we also have the paddle pop sticks big snowflakes which mine is still sitting here drying so I'm going to leave that to dry overnight I'm thoroughly covered in glitter at this point we had our paper snowflakes we had our more detailed advanced paper snowflakes although personally I think that these work out to be easier once you've kind of mastered the little tricks and then we also had our little candle luminaries using Epsom salt. So a whole heap of craft ideas for you guys to try and if you try any of them please send me a photo on Twitter or Facebook. I would love, 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 love to see it and if you guys have got any other ideas for craft ideas um, I would love to hear about those too. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 11 and before we go we cannot go without doing the advent calendar. So so far I'm three for three. I feel like my luck is probably going to run out with the guessing, but you never know. So, guessing with the Freddo Frogs Crunchy Dairy Milk Dream Milky Top or Strawberry. I have this weird feeling like we might go back to Crunchy now. I don't know why, but that's what I'm going to guess. You guys guess too. And if I can get this open without getting glue or glitter all over the, my chocolate... <gasps> Oh, my luck did run so out. So we didn't go back to crunchy, but we did go back to strawberries. So that's like three or four strawberries out of the whole packet. And there are five in the entire calendar. And we're only up to day 11. So there's not a lot of variety in this placement. But if you guessed strawberry, congratulations. I'm going to go eat my chocolate and get ready for bed because it is now really, really late. And I've got to go edit this video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed Vlogmas Day 11. Tomorrow I will be doing the Q&A video. So leave your final questions on this video. And tomorrow I'll be answering your questions in a video. And that's it from me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. We are going to do a quick little update tour of the house because we worked out a way. My dad just climbed the scaffolding to get inside.